Hi everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Traveling McGee. Um, I just wanted to do, so my last video I kind of said that my next video was going to be uh, about Biscayne National Park, which it is. Um, but unfortunately I've been given some sad news, and it's kind of on me, and I'll explain a little bit. Um, so one of the places that I really wanted to visit, that was on my bucket list of places to visit, was Dry Tortugas National Park. Before I even left, before I even left Pennsylvania, I checked out the website and they said, you know, it's a very popular destination, make sure you buy tickets in advance. Um, and I thought I was in the clear. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought, I will wait till like three weeks out. That should be plenty of time to make sure that I can buy a ticket. Um, I waited and today, well actually last week, I checked the website and I was all ready to book my ticket. And by the way, the ticket, just the ferry ticket alone is, I believe it's over $200. Like it's, it's a, um, it's quite expensive to, uh, get this ferry. And I was okay with that. I really wanted to see this fort. I really wanted to um, experience this. And I was okay with paying the money. I had it budget, budgeted out. And uh, so I checked the website, like I said. And <laughs> amazingly, amazingly, the ferry is fully booked until September. <laughs> and it is mid-March. Uh, so that blows. <laughs> the only other way to really, well, I guess there's two other ways to get on to the fort. And the other way is by seaplane. And that is, from what I researched, that would have cost me almost $500 for one person to get on a seaplane. And you can understand that because it's, you know, it's expensive. Uh, and that is fully booked until July. <laughs> so option two is out. Option three, which I haven't researched that much, is hiring like a private charter. So uh, someone that would take you out there. And I haven't really researched that because I'm sure that's just as expensive. So uh, I'm still planning on going to Key West. I'm still planning on visiting the Keys. And I'm really hoping that once I get down there, uh, I'm still going to check with the visitor center for Dry Tortugas just to see if maybe they have a cancellation list or, you know, maybe they keep one or two tickets on will call. I don't know. But either way, I'm still going down there. So in place of that, I have decided to take that money that uh, I was going to use for that. Today, I made an unexpected stop. I was not planning on going here at all, but I decided to explore Cape Canaveral. And wow, what a change in weather. Holy mackerel. So the same storm today that brought snow to my home state of Pennsylvania brought really severe thunderstorms and very strong winds and very heavy rain to central Florida. But the temperature change has been ridiculous. So yesterday was 87 degrees and now it is almost 50. And I think it's supposed to get into the low 40s tonight. But man, I don't know if you can hear it, but this is really messing up my allergies because now <laughs> the cold weather, the switch from hot to cold just does not do well with my allergies. So um but what a crazy change in weather. I was just in Cape Canaveral and I visited the NASA um, Visitors Center Complex, something like that, that's what it's called. Uh, and it's a massive um, area that you can explore. And it was $10 to park and it was about $60 for an adult ticket. But once you get in, man, there are just so many things that you can see. There are so many things that you can do. Uh, right away, the attendant that took my ticket, she said, go for the buses. I got there right around 1130 and it opened at 11, uh, 10 or maybe 9. I don't know. Um, 
And she said, just go, go to the buses, go do the bus tour first, and then work your way back to the uh, exit. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got on the bus and the bus basically took you to the, you know, the big iconic uh, building that you see um, that where they build all the massive uh, space shuttles and missile, not missiles, but um, rockets. It takes you to the Apollo Saturn V Center, and it has the actual um, Saturn V rocket in there, and it is absolutely incredible. It is massive, and there's videos, and they kind of stage you through the whole building, and you can see there's so much stuff. And then you get back on the bus, and it takes you back to the main area. And then you go to the uh, building that houses the um, Atlantis shuttle. And th that building itself has tons of exhibits. And the actual shuttle is in the building. And, uh, you know, again, they kind of stage you through the building. There is rooms that you kind of stand in that do... Like, there's like a video that plays and things like that. So, um, And then from there, I checked out... Um, they have an IMAX theater there, so I was able to see a 3D IMAX, uh, just about, you know, the progression of NASA and what, what it's like living in space and what's next, so that was very, very interesting, um, and you can just walk around the whole grounds, they have rockets staged outside, um, just a really cool place, definitely worth the admission price, um, and they also have this massive gift store with everything that you can find. NASA hats and cups and all, you know, just everything space related. Uh, and there's also places that you can eat as well. So really, really interesting. Uh, again, like I said, I was not planning on going there. But the place that I originally wanted to go was so close to this area. Uh, and I was like, you know what? When am I going to be back here? Um... And then from there, so what I've been doing is I am on this beautiful uh, byway. It's called the Florida A1A. And it's a scenic coastal highway that runs from Jacksonville all the way down to Miami. And I have been on that for about 100 miles off and on. Um, right now, I think I'm about 150 miles from Miami. And it takes you through all of these small little seaside towns and you know resort locations and just beach destinations and so far it's been really incredible uh so but anyway yeah so that is the change of plans for me as of right now but again you got to the end of another one of my videos and i'm gonna end it here i'm sure i still have some pictures and videos from um, the kennedy space center so i'm gonna let them roll through and let you see what i saw I will see you when I explore Biscayne National Park, and hopefully everyone is doing well. I am, and I am just taking my time exploring and really enjoying myself. So, I am safe, I am well, I am doing great, and I will see you all on the next video. So, take care.